Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's home we'll be checking out is actually at $1,840,000 and it is uh, just under 3,600 square feet, a four bed, three bath. Let's take a look. So right as you enter, you'll notice the tile flooring. It gives that uh, concrete look across the whole home, but that extra shine added to it. Now, as you enter your great room, kitchen, dining room, family room, you name it, there's tons of space here. Your kitchen here has the white quartz countertops with the stainless steel sink that is undermounted as well. And all of your appliances are GE monogram too. Then you have the stylish cabinetry and your walk-in pantry that we're approaching as well. With that backsplash as well, it really adds that extra zest of taste into that kitchen there. Now here we are approaching the front door again, but we're here actually just to check out the guest bedrooms. Now this room could be an office, could be a bedroom, could be a game room. The choice is up to you really. It does have a closet, a walk-in there as well, and then a uh, his and her bathroom that is shared with the other guest bedroom too. And with this guest bathroom, you actually have him and her sinks the enclosed tub as well. Here's your second guest bedroom. This one's a little bit smaller than the last one, but nonetheless, could be anything you want turned into an office, game room, or a bedroom just like this one. You still have this particular closet. It uh, has the sliding doors as we approach the family room, dining room, kitchen, you name it. We're coming into the primary bedroom here, which as we enter, lots of space. It's a huge room. You got one window for natural sunlight as well as patio access. The door there, that'll lead you right out to the backyard. Now, as we're stepping on this carpet too, it is padded, so it has that extra cushion on your step. Now your primary bathroom has his and her sinks completely separated by the tub here, as well as the enclosed glass door walk-in shower that has the tiling as well. And here you have an extra little nook where you can do your makeup, practice business in the bathroom, whichever is easier for you. And your primary bedroom walk-in closet, lots of space with the bars, even wraps around to give you a little L shape as well. Now this is the main part of the home. I have a surprise for you guys. This is actually a next gen home. So where we're gonna head to next, it's attached to the living area or the dining area we saw earlier. And we'll pop into that to take a look. One additional detail about these Lennar homes, if you haven't noticed in our previous videos, Lennar likes to add fire sprinklers to a lot of their homes, which are the caps, the small caps you'll see in the ceiling. Here is your next gen suite, a fully livable space that has a door that would normally separate it from the main living space. But here you have a kitchen. You have a small space for a dining room, a living room with still the same kind of upgrades such as the white quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, the undermounted stainless sink, and the stylish cabinetry too. Plus you got multiple windows in here for more set natural sunlight. Now we're approaching the primary bedroom of the next gen suite, which is just like the main living quarters, lots of space. It's a large room. Plus with the cushioned carpet that adds to it, you have your primary bathroom in the next gen suite with the white quartz countertops and you have your fully glass enclosed shower as well and your walk-in closet too. Not as big as the primary living quarters, but still some, a good amount of space in there. This one also has access to the backyard with the patio door there that's located in this bedroom. As we come out here, you'll notice with a lot of the homes that have backyards out in Vegas is the desert landscaping. You'll have the artificial turf here, but this one you even have a mini putt in the backyard as well. With this particular home and its size, you got a lot of potential for a bunch of different events. The mini putt, I could play myself. Good for kids as well, but you got a lot of options of events, activities, you name it, you could do back here. So one of the great things about these next gen level homes is that they actually have two separate entrances, one for the main living quarters and one separate for the next gen suite. So you'll have your next gen entrance on this side of the home for the primary residence would be through the door on the left. Well, thank you guys again for stopping by the channel. If you like the videos just like this one, please like and subscribe. You'll see the next one. I'll be happy to show you. Take care.